What's up guys? I'm going to take you on a tour of what it's like to be a movie theater employee. And if you still clicked on this video and you're still watching, I don't know why you're still watching, turn this video off right now. Jeez, I almost dropped my freaking camera. Well, guys, have you made it this far? I'm officially at the movie theater. As you can see with my mask, people forget that we still are in the middle of a pandemic, so it's always important to wear your mask. And right now, I'm in one of our older bathrooms. So if you're wondering where the popcorn is stored at night, you can see we're behind concession. Right down here is the popcorn warmer. Basically it heats up the popcorn overnight and we store it and we throw it in that popper. We have this giant box with stickers to show to stay six feet apart. And I just want to show you guys uh, one of our stock rooms and all the popcorn seed we have. To those who wonder why popcorn is so much, take into consideration that one of these bags probably costs like 20, 40 bucks. And you can probably make like 50 to 100 large popcorns with these. A large popcorn costs six bucks, so you do the math. Yeah, that's a lot of money. So right now I'm inside one of our biggest theaters. Most the movie theaters are following the trend today where they have recliners like we do. <laughs> Stop recording me. Destruction of company property. <laughs> okay, I'm going to work. He's not working. These are the projectors. I only know how to turn it on and off or play a movie. Don't ask me how it works. It's projector two. Projector 1, the one that nobody likes, Projector 3, Projector 4, Projector 5 with paranormal lights, Projector 6, Projectile 7, and Projectile 8. Being upstairs, the projectors may be the coolest part. Whenever the ship breaks, then it's our responsibility and then customers get angry at us because we have to do this. We don't actually have a technician. You see a manager in a black long sleeve, shake their hand. Uh, I just gotta take a temperature. All right, what movie are you seeing? Okay. And you have the entire theater to yourself. You wanna choose which seat you like? Would you like anything you need to drink? I took the popcorn and the energy is going to be sixteen twenty-five. Sometimes on a slow day, you can spot some deer. Fortunately, I do not see any. This is Elizabeth. She's currently looking for a job and she has a bachelor's degree. Somebody please hire her. is our what we call TMS where we make and receive all our movies. So whatever movie you see on the big screen has to be assembled in here. What that means is we have to create a playlist with the actual movie and the trailers that coincide before it. So this list right here 
is basically a timeline, multiple timelines of all our theaters, and we have eight. So if I right click on this TV screen, go to View GUI or View GUI, this basically shows um, from the projector's view of the actual movie that's playing. So Jurassic, Jurassic Park is currently playing. If I go here, it's called Edit Show. And these are all the movies that are currently transferred in that theater. So you have Invisible Man, Jumanji, Playing With Fire, etc. This right here is a schedule. So all the movies that play, we have to schedule in our system so we don't have to each manually play them every day. And this is for today, August 9th. And right now it shows with this red dotted line across what currently the movies are in progress. So to get the keys to unlock the movies, um, I'm going on my email here. I typed keys already just because we haven't gotten any recently. The specific movie we have, uh, Playing With Fire, is sent here by um, a company. And whenever you look for a movie, you got to make sure it's the right format that matches ours, which looks the same. The key is valid from August 6th to August 14th. That's the only valid time the movies can actually play. If we tried to play it next week and we didn't get a key, it won't work, obviously. So you need to have a key to actually unlock the movie. And now I'm done. See that man right there? That's Caleb. We call him a soup because he's a supervisor. Say hi, Caleb.